Hey y'all, welcome to Resale Therapy. My name is Tracy. I go by Kidlet on most platforms. I sell on Macari eBay and I may be going back to Etsy here soon. Today, I did my taxes. I finished my taxes. First time having to do uh, reseller taxes. And so I figured I would treat myself to the first bag of the 21 pounds from New Jersey. This was a shopgoodwill.com purchase. I don't remember the total, but I will put it on the screen. <laughs> uh, Kat is not with me today. She is in the other room cleaning her insane pile. Yes, she is getting organized. Go her. <clears throat> All right. But she will be back. She has not left me for good. Now, um, we did pre-sort this in a way that made sense at the time. We just... <laughs> yeeted a bunch into a bag and we did like six bags total <clears throat> so we could do six videos off one shipment and it sounded good at the time now some of this uh some of you will remember from the preview we did because we did record bagging this stuff up now the first thing out of the bag is this uh little cuff bracelet that someone has repurposed with um, another like brooch um, and this faux floral leaf and some tapestry it looks like. I'm not sure what I will do with this. Um, I don't know about reselling it. I mean I might but you know I don't I don't know. Feedback. When you find things that people have recreated out of or repurposed do you sell them? thoughts yeah, it's missing a stone right there it is cute um i don't know next is this wooden bangle now i do have a lot of wooden stuff that i'm collecting for reselling uh i may put that in there i love the color though yeah i'm not going to try to get that on my wrist i will never get it off <laughs> this was another thing that we had in the video and as huge as it is, it didn't look too bad when I held it up to myself. It is a clip-on. So I'm going to get a bucket and put the earrings in it right now. Here's another clip-on. It's like faux suede with this crackle printing on it. Here's a very pink bent clip-on that someone re-glued. I don't know. That's, that's different. Oh, I like this. There's a bracelet. Oh, and it has a name on it. Let's see what it says. I barely find bangles that have names on it like this. Very curious. Where did it go? Where did it go? Oh, there it is. Okay. Uh... Oh, I, I know what it says. It's a Monet. Hi. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. Let me get the light on it. Come on. If I can find it, I lost it. There it is. No. Yeah, there you go. Monet. Huh. It is nice. I might try to resell that considering it's a Monet. I like that. Ah, stretchy bracelet with some plastic pink faceted beads. Probably put this in uh, either a twain lot or we we have a kid lot uh, going and a kid lot a uh, teen lot, and we've kind of decided we want to do you know, like dress up elementary school and then teen young adult. You know. Um, yeah, it's cute. We'll put in one of those. I don't know which. Oh, here's another one with faux pearls. Very nice. Uh, it's a little kinked. So I might just put it with the other one in like a dress up lot or something. Uh, you know, maybe not. It's, I don't know if it can be fixed or not. Ugh. Okay, maybe not. It's got some issues going on here. So maybe we'll put it in a craft lot 
because those are cute little pearl beads. I mean, they're not real, but still. Yeah. Oh, this is cute. Hold on a second. Oh, it's broken. All right. So it's missing a jump ring only. That's, that's, okay. What is that? Do you know? Well, I got a good shot of it too. I'm not sure what that is. I won't say what it looks like, <clears throat> but it is only missing a jump ring by the looks of it. And it is really pretty. So maybe I will actually take the time to fix that if I can find who makes it. Let's see if I can zoom in a little here. There we go. Yeah, a little jump ring and that would be right as rain. That's cute. Next is this very sweet little pearl necklace. Looks like it's kid size. Feels like it's not that great a quality. Not sure. Come on, focus. What that is. So tiny. So yeah, I would say that's a kid thing. And we'll put that in the lot with the kid stuff. Very cute. Though so this was a buy it now kind of thing. There was no bidding on it for the dollar or the uh, penny shipping. So this has a nice clasp, but as you can see, they're not knotted. So, and they have that fake feel to them and sound. <laughs> So the clasp isn't everything, and I would not pass this on to anybody because of the way it is. So we will put this in a crafter's lot. And whether they want the faux pearls, I don't know, but this clasp is nice. So yeah. Okay. Here's another wood item. It's kind of cute. Has little bits of bamboo. Oh, there's four of them. Okay. Yeah, that's, that's kind of cute. Let me adjust that. Yeah. That'll go in the wood lot for sure. All right, so next is a bracelet here. Uh, looks like, what do they call that? Nickel silver? This is a cute bracelet. It needs to be cleaned up. I don't see any marks on it. But it is cute. We'll see if we can't. Well, it's a little damaged there. But I like it. Probably put it in a wearable sewable or something lot. Put it in a bracelet lot, maybe. All right. So this next is a cute little lace collar. Little choker. That is adorable. Doesn't have a name or anything, but it is cute and it's clean, amazingly. Um, I'm probably going to put that in a teen lot. All right. So this next one looks like it's a belt. In fact, it is. Look at the size of that for you. I thought it was broken, but it's not. Oops. It's got a little dangle bit. Very cute. At least I think that's a belt. That's what it looks like, right? Look at the detail. I like that. Uh, I don't see any identifiers. But I like it. Wouldn't fit me in a million years, but it's cute. So we will probably do individual sale on that one. Oh, uh, here's another statement necklace that is broken. Oh, there goes a jump ring. And let's see what it did look like. Let's see how pretty you used to be. Shall we? Am I in camera? No, I gotta learn where my camera setups. I suck, 
guys. I just can't get it together. All right, so that went to there, and that went to there, and then how about that? That's cute. What a bummer. Let me see if I can. I want everything right here. So if I do that and I do that, that works. Okay. So let's get a close up look at this, shall we? We got these pretty speckled pieces. Obviously, it's nothing huge. However, there is a mark. And it's an NY. So I don't know if I'm going to be able to find some gold jump rings for this since I don't have that sort of thing. So I may just put it in a fix lot. Fix. Fix. I don't, yeah. It's really pretty, though. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> Here's some, oh, <laughs> I thought these were both bracelets. No, the small one's a bracelet and the big one is an earring. All right. <laughs> I don't see a mark on it. They're both cute. I would have so thought they were both. <laughs> Picking up where we left off. Uh, we've got a earring here. And we'll put that with the other ones. We got another earring here, but it is so messed up. So yeah, I lost my magnet, ordered um, a new one. Uh, and this one ha is from our fridge. And it says, I used to care, but now I take a pill for that. <laughs> I think my kids gave me that. Um, I recently put up a quick video of me losing my mind. I have since made it private. <laughs> if you saw it, liked it, or commented on it, I appreciate you so much. Uh, I do lose my marbles from time to time. Like, literally, I'm bipolar and things go crazy. And we do have a couple of situations going on. But um, I'm handling it okay right now. And I'm taking the advice of one of my subscribers. And... Um, focusing on other things and that includes jewelry and taxes and you know <laughs> things of that nature and this is very pretty but there's no connector it's busted but look how pretty those beads are someone's gonna have fun with those so now we have this stretchy bracelet. This is probably going to go in a teen lot or a little ki uh, kid's lot. It's very cute. It's got some wings on it. And uh, a little Cupid. But yeah, we'll put that in a teen lot. Why not? Okay, so this is a little bent up. I don't think it's going to take much to straighten it out. But I don't know... I don't know. It is pretty. Um, but that's that's bugging me. I don't know. Would do you wear something like this? It you know what? I'll put it I'll put it in a bracelet lot and see what happens. I mean it's okay. It's just a little bent and part of that is probably because, you know, it's the state of what it is. It's braided and it's going to go with the shape of it, right? Now, this next one is pretty neat. It's L.E. I have known nothing about L.E. Um, but initially, I was like, oh, okay, it's a piece of leather and something. But it is a tooled piece of leather. Like, that's on purpose. <clears throat> and it's got these branded rivets that are used to close it and um, and then this tag this inspire inspire tag i can read is removable which means if you've got more you could replace it um and that's a little more quality than i was expecting when i picked it up so i think i'm going to look into le uh, and see because 
That is kind of cute. And if anything, it will go in a teen lot. But um, I want to look that up first. Oh, we've got an earring. Oh, well, that's kind of cool. Uh, it looks like it was homemade or craft made. I shouldn't say homemade. Crafters, I'm sorry. You might be working from home, but that's different. Oh, it's... Uh, it's messed up. So I will put that in a craft lot. So... Because there's some fun little pieces on there. So yeah, we'll do that. And we've got these two. They've got some fun little beads on it. Little seed beads. Or those cylinders. I don't think these qualify. Well, they might be seed beads. Yeah, we'll say that. But I don't... They're too hideous beyond that to sell for wear. Let's see, what do we have here? Oh, that's kind of cute. The hammered metal earring. I'm kind of hoping the other one's there. That's cute. No name. So I like that. So hopefully the other one is there, like I said. <clears throat> and this one is kind of adorable. It's a stretchy. The stretch is good. It all seems there. So I might put that in a teen. It's got a cute little rhinestone right there. Woohoo! Oh, this is funky. Kind of rustic looking. Like you don't know if it's on purpose or on accident, but it sounds like keys. Oh, yeah, Kat looked at this and said the same thing, and I made a joke about jewelry ASMR. And it's hard to tell if that's what it's supposed to look like, or if it is just ragged. Like, I can't, I can't tell. I think I'll put it in craft lot, because it'd be fun to play with, with the bits, but I don't think I'd want to wear it. Ooh, that's very 80s retro throwback. I don't think it was actually made in the 80s. It's a too modern material and looking for that. Although it's kind of funky on the back. Fit with the spare earrings. Oh, now this piece was in our preview. Hold on. There we go. And this is a nifty piece. However, it's broken. Like it was off a bracelet or a brooch or something. And it's a nice weighted piece. There's no name on it or anything. But that fun little bit here is going to go in the craft lot. I like it though. We have a beast. I was hoping not to face a beast. Uh, but we have one. Oh, okay. Well, we got a brooch. And it looked like it had a bunch of pearls going all the way around, and now it just has one. <laughs> or maybe it just had one, and the rest... Yeah, no, I think it just had one. Is there a name on it? No. Oh. What does that say? Hold on. Can I see through the... Let's see. Hold it. Let me see it that way. Can you see what it is? A... A A J is that what that says? A A I, and it's pretty beat up on the back. So I'm probably just gonna put it in a. Well, I like to put all the loose brooches. I'll just yeah, I'll keep it with the other brooches. All right, let's see if we can get something out of here. There's a couple promising looking pieces in there. This is not one of them, but it is cute. A little puffy heart earring. I believe it is a mess. All right, let's see what we can make out of what little we can get out of this. So we've got one, two, three, four, five strands. 
of this gold tone chain. Multi-strand chain, no name. Otherwise, looks like it's in good condition, except for the fact that it is tangled. But the chains are nice looking, and they feel nice. So we're probably going to sell it, even though I can't get it untangled just yet. Let's see. Um, we do this, and we do... Oh, this looks like a belt. Is this a belt? It's a very skinny belt. Let's see. Who is it by? I must know. Absolutely nobody. Really? Who puts a tag and does... Oops, sorry. Sorry. Sorry! And doesn't have anything on the tag. Okay, so it's a big leather... So Big. It's a long, skinny leather strap with rhinestones going all the way around it. I'll probably put it in the teen lot and let the teen figure out if they want to do it as a constantly wrapping bracelet, which is possible, or if they want to do it in their hair somehow, or if they want to do it as a very skinny belt, or if they want to wear it as a necklace but I think would have multiple options so yeah we'll do that so we've got these little clusters of turquoise looking bits which obviously are not real they're too symmetrically formed and all that so it's like more of like an enamel little dollop an arrangement thereof. I do not see a name. It is very long. Can we zoom out here? Woo, wrong way. Here we go. And uh, there's this long section, and then there's three clusters going up the side. So I'm wondering if it's meant to wear, uh, see, like that. Maybe, possibly. Maybe not. Uh, it's cute. Um, I might try. If not, it'll go in a mix slot. We'll see. I like it, though. Okay, stop reaching in the bag when we have more to deal with here. Now, I don't know what to think of this one, to be honest. We've got what looks like some wood beads, some wood tubes, and then some plastic, and then some seed bead. And no, those are plastic too. Um, very Native American vibe to it, but not, I wouldn't say authentic by any means, not saying that. Just the um, feeling of it, not the authenticity by any means. Um, four strands. One being a chain, no name. Let's see if we can get an idea of what it looks like. Like, like that. Uh, I don't know. I think I put it in a mixed lot of sorts. It's very long, too. Very lightweight. Here's one for you. I'm wondering if it's complete, though. All right, you. Nope, it's missing stuff. Bummer. It's cute, though. I like this. And that might have had stuff in it, too. No, it doesn't. And they're plastic. Yep, it's all plastic. Okay. <laughs> Feedback, y'all. What? I know why sometimes they have two of these, but why? I don't get it. Is that how some jewelry is just doing it now? I don't get it. Anyway, doesn't matter. It's going in a craft lot. There's some fun stuff in there. This is gorgeous, but it's got a horrible feather although it doesn't look like a too bad of a feather i am not a fan of feathers 
but this one's kind of pretty, so I'll let it pass. But now my question is, do I put it in a craft, not craft lot, do I put it in a bracelet lot, or do I put it in a tea lot? Because it's very pretty. Like, very pretty. And it's got a, that is really pretty. Wow. I'm not a huge fan of this style of bracelet either. And there's no maker mark or anything, but look how pretty that is. Oh, and it's really comfortable. Okay, the feather's touching me, the feather's touching me, the feather's touching me. Okay, yes, I'm I'm kind of weird that way. Okay, uh, I'm not keeping it. <laughs> uh, that's for sure, but it's so pretty. I'm going to put it with the bracelets for now. Okay, so here's a stretchy. Stretch is okay. They're plastic shinies. We're going to put that in a good lot. Ooh, this is cute. All right, hold on. Something's sticking to it. So we have a bracelet here that is being difficult. So let's look at it first. Now, was there something in those? I, I don't know what's going on here. Did they, I don't know, did they hold on to something? Are they there to hurt somebody? I don't know. Um, there's no mark on it. I lied. It's Mark Donna. That's right, I looked at that before. I'm going to show you that. Come on, focus. Can you see that? So, I do not know, but I'll probably put it in a craft lot. Because, yeah, I don't, I don't know. All right, let's look at this one, y'all. Or is this two? Is this one? No, it's a multi-strand. It's cute, though. Where's the other end? All tangled up in itself because it loves itself so much. It's tinkle tinkling. It's tinkling. Tinkle tinkle. Tinkle tinkle. This is cute. Okay. And I think I have it backwards. Nope, it's just that way both ways. Okay. So we've got three strands. This one's got puffy beads and flat beads, and it's not in any way symmetrical. That kind of bugs me. Is it missing something? I don't know that I want to sell it if it's like that. That would bug the heck out of me. I think it's missing a puffy here, and then it's oval heart. But this one's flat, and this one's not. And what is going on here? Is it supposed to be like that? God, I hate doing this on black. It picks up everything. I think I'm going to put this in a craft lot. Because there's some really nice pieces, but to me... It doesn't make any sense. Yep. Okay. That answered that question. <clears throat> we have a velveteen looking. Ew. Ew. You know. No, no, no. Um. Do I even put that in a craft lot? I mean, that's pretty messed up. I mean, they're shiny and all, but no, I think that's just going to go in the garbage. Yeah, nope, I'm not passing that one on. I just can't, y'all. And looking at it from a crafter's standpoint, I would say no, even though I'm not a crafter. <laughs> um, that was part of an earring, 
and now it's a crafter bit. This is fun, but I already know it's missing pieces. Look, it's got dangle bits. Dangle bits. It's very shiny, gold tone, lots of rhinestones. This will go in a craft lot, along with the rest of it when I find it. There's a nice clip-on earring. It's got a name. It's got a name. No name. No name. Okay, that looked like it came in a kit. And that's got a necklace or bracelet. No, that's that's the top. That, yeah, I'll put in a craft lot. There's some usable pieces. This one's kind of cute. I think I'll put this in a team lot. It's got the pull clothes, pull titan, whatever. Um, and it's got a cute little heart. That's cute. I'm not sure how this was supposed to be. There we go, like that, maybe? It's cute. Yeah, and it's in de decent condition. All right, so here's a cool little... Oh, it's two, I was going to say. <laughs> They're still cool. They're just different. I think this is missing something. Um, but I'll put it in the clip on... Or the earrings for now. I'm going to hold on to all the earrings until we go through... All six of the bags because we did not separate them beforehand. We just grabbed and stuffed. And I think most of them had matches, if I'm not correct. Uh, if I'm correct, I don't know what I am anymore. This is a jump ring that may go on that necklace. Yeah. So this is a fun little bracelet. This is probably going to go in a teen lot. It's boho. Yeah, a little bit. A little bit. I like it. So there's the other earring I pulled out before. It's got silver tone in the middle. Gold tone on the outside. Let's see. Any name? No, I was kind of hoping. It looks decent. Now, there's no protective anything for your ear. Wouldn't that be painful? Is it missing something? Isn't there supposed to be rubber there? Huh. I don't know. I don't wear those. Oh, that's cute. That is adorable. I didn't see that when we were going through them. Almost looks like a face. Hello. <laughs> All right. No name. We'll put that in the box. This is fun. My son liked it because he, he agreed that it looked like something he would have given his mom when he was growing up. Meaning me, but you know, because he would have been like, it's diamonds. Um, it's going to go in a craft lot. It's got some fun pieces, but yeah. Ooh, now that's a pretty earring. Ooh, what's that mark? Oh, I can't read it. I don't think you can read it. Let's see. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Do you know what that mark is? Oh, it's very cute. Very, has a Native American feel to it. I don't know if that is or not. Or if that says Mexico. That says Mexico. M-E-X-I-C-O. I bet you this silver. Yes. Okay. All right, back to where we left off. I'm not sure what that is. It's just a a disc for a crafter. Because, yeah. Okay. There's another fun earring. See, now that's what's missing on the other one. Why? 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 There you go, my obligatory breaking of something. Ugh. 
it gets all the way to here and then dies. Yeah. Okay. That's what's missing in the other one. I'll just put that directly into a craft lot. And when the match shows up, I'll do the same. Which means... Well, see, that one doesn't have it either. Can you replace that sort of thing? I, I don't, I don't know. Here's another earring. It looks like it's got some green on it. I don't know what happened there. Is that tarnish? I guess. Ah, no idea. Hold on. I have a magnet. I want to test that one. Where'd it go? Okay. It passed the magnet test, which means absolutely nothing. So we have a ring here. I think that it might. No, that scratches. I'm looking, I'm looking. It says seven, so it's supposed to be a size seven, although it's probably not. Um, oh, maybe, maybe. You know what? <laughs> I got a mandrel. It. it that that's an eight that's not a seven so i gotta figure out what that mark means it looks like an l it looks like a seven what does that mean can you can you, hmm, i wonder if you can see it do you see it is it an l or is it a seven you tell me all right so we have a fingernail. No, it's an earring, but it doesn't it look like a fingernail. And we've got, oh, this one's cute. Look at that. Look how pretty that is. It's one ring with three pieces all connected. So cute. Does that say the same thing? No. Okay. I thought that said seven again, too. God. Black picks up everything. And this is a six, which means I can get it on my pinky. <laughs> that is cute, though. That is really, really cute. I like that. And then we have this earring, which is a pierced. And this is kind of fun. I would actually wear these. I don't see a mark. And there's some wear on them, but I don't think I would care. <laughs> Here's the screw back. Um, I like screw backs, only that my grandmother used to have them. And that's what I think of when I see them is my grandma. My grandma. Isn't that cute? Here's another earring. It's a dangly set of pearly beads that are shedding their sheen. Look at that. It's cute though. All right, what else can we get out of this bag? So here is a bracelet of Elizabethan coins. Elizabethan coins. Why did I say that? No. There's Elizabeth, Queen Elizabeth. There is uh, some dude. <laughs> they're not American coins. I don't even know if they're all real coins because that one doesn't doesn't look like it. It doesn't, but I could be wrong. Half penny. I yeah. I don't know if these are real, but they're not American. How about that? I could be wrong in that, too. Don't quote me on anything. Um, I'll just have to look it up. I know that some penny bracelets go for decent vintage penny bracelets, and it feels like real coins for the most part. So, yeah. Research is your friend. There's the other one. The one I just broke. Let's see. That one looks like it's close to breaking, too. In fact, I just did, I think. No, I just loosened it but yeah look how painful that looks because it's all dry 
I had to keep touching it. Say, now they're even. See, it's all good. It's all good. <laughs> this is killer. Who? what is the name on this one? Ooh, it's so dirty. I think it's a napier. It's a napier. It's really gross. It needs to be clean, but look at that. That's, that's some quality... Quality metal earring right there. You could chuck that sucker. This looks like it came off an automobile. It's so forged with steel. I'm kidding, but uh, let me put, yeah, it says Napier there. And I was looking at that one, but it says Napier right there. Can I get it to, yeah, see? Napier, Napier. But look at that. That's, that's some hard metal. Hard metal, as opposed to soft metal. Whatever. Whatever. And here's another one, that other one. So now we know we have one match. One match! I think I had that one. Pretty sure we had that one. Anyway. Moving right along. That one's got a name. Oh, that's a Napier, too. Nice. I need to screw back. I don't know why I'm talking like that. Don't ask. Don't ask. But see that? It is an apier. Not bad. Ooh. Ooh. That one's nice. Does it have a name? Does it have a name? Nope. I don't care. I just don't care. I don't. I think it's real. I don't know. It's very pretty. Okay, but there's one thing. Isn't it supposed to line up with the disc up there? I'm just, I'm just saying. I don't think that's lining up properly. Uh, we will see. Oh, this is delicate. We'll get to this one in a minute. Ooh, that's pretty. Oh, and it's got a little... Little bitty jewel right there. No name. Very pretty though. There's another screw back. Oh, that one's cute. This one got a name. There's a lot of screw backs in this one. I'm okay with that. Here's a nice heavy duty. Howdy duty. Howdy duty, heavy duty. I'm not a huge fan of anything that connects like that because I would lose it. It's nice though. It's like choker size, but I like it. So that one might be individual. I don't, I don't know yet. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and do this one. This one is so lightweight. Oh, come on now. How do you... Mm. <laughs> and of course, I have it way up there now. Yeah, and it's all funky here, but this is cute. Hmm. Might put that in a tea lot. That's pretty. Okay, so... This looks like it almost matches the belt. What do you call these? Concho? Is that? It's um, not real silver. So I'm pretty sure that's not a real stone either. But it's cute. And sometimes that's all that matters. So here's some money on an earring that is really jacked up. I know I'm not going to try to fix it on camera. <laughs> Oh, this is nice, too. If I can get it to lay straight. Eh. I don't see a name. So I will put that with the other ones and see if we find the match. Because it's cute and I like it. Ew. 
it's dirty and scuffed up, but it's got a little bit of what looks like it might be marcasite. And it is a clip back, not a clip on, but a clip back. No name. I was so hoping it would have one. That's okay. It's probably going to go in a craft lot because it's all chewed up looking. But we will wait and see if it's got a partner first. All right, what's that? Oh, that's so cute. It's got a little three-leaf clover. Ba-ram you. <laughs> Sorry. <sighs> oh, it's got a name. Hold on. Let's see. It says Solver. Oh, sorry. So there. I like little charms. They're cute. I like it. We're good. Okay. I love this one. There was only one that I saw anyway. That doesn't mean it wasn't hooked up with something else. Okay. I don't want to break you. Oh, there it is. So it's another clip back. I love this. And I might keep it and put it on a chain. Because it's so adorable. Isn't it? Isn't it? Okay, but first it'll stick with earrings just in case we find the other one. And would you believe that's the bottom of the bag? Except for the bits I broke. <laughs> and the earring backing. All right. So let's look over what we've got here. First, going over the earrings. And see if we have any matches besides the ones I broke. Because we know... I broke them. <laughs> uh, let's see. We don't have those. And of the hoops, we don't have any of those. Pretty sure we have... Yeah, we have this one. So let's put those together. And they both have their rubber. And the rubber isn't funky. So bonus. We'll keep those together. Uh, we only have one of these fun ones. One of the silver for now. One of the Napier. That Napier, anyway. One of those. One of those. One of these. Another one of those Napiers. One of those. I know there's two of these. I know that. Uh, I hope we find most of these because these are so cute. Or at least most of them. I thought we had both of these, but I only see one. I must have looked at it twice. Okay, well, two matches is better than none. Um, this is probably going to go into a wear, fix, whatever. I don't, I don't know. And this one is silver. Yay! But we're going to wait and put it with the other earrings so we can see if we can find both. Along with this great one, and these great ones, and that great one, and that one, and that one. <laughs> the rest of the ones, I'm not so, like, woohoo over. Um, that one's okay, and I like that one. So I lied, and I like that one. <laughs> Alright, so we're just going to put these in this, and we'll see. Because we got five more of these bags to go before we totally give up on those earrings. Things I know that I want to sell individually out of this bag. So we have this great belt because yes, and this beautiful multi-strand, although it's a hot mess necklace. <laughs> Let me zoom. <laughs> So thank you for checking me out. I've got five more of these to open, so make sure you check back for sure. Uh, also, another thing that I'm going to be attempting here soon is a collab of sorts with other reseller YouTubers. Um, details on that coming up soon. 
and I'm going to need your assistance in winning a contest. Yeah. Um, and you two could be a winner in the very end of it all. And hopefully at the end of that collab, we will have hit our 200 mark and then we will do our first live. So anyway, if you've seen anything in this that you are particularly interested in, my email is in the description box below. You can reach me at kidlitrt at gmail.com. All right, until next time, stay safe, take care, have a great day, have a great tomorrow, and I'll see you next time. Bye.